Hello Zebrahurt and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. And the first thing I gotta do is change these clothes because it's, it's probably just as hot in this desert as it is in my office right now. Like, geez, it is just a hot day. But uh, we need to go ahead and get another walrus so we can actually go and defeat, watch his face, I hope. Uh, well, at least that's the plan. Hopefully everything will work out with it, but there we go. We got this setup going on so we can go into uh, Gerudo Town and everything should work out. We could try to sneak up to our own, but uh, I don't know if that's a very good idea. So I'm just gonna, uh, let things be how they are and go get another walrus for 20 rupees. It's not that expensive compared to what I have, so it should be fine. Can I break these though? I can, I got an arrow out of it. That's five rupees worth of a uh, product right there. I'll take it. <laughs> okay then, so I need to talk to, I think, this lady. Uh, hello. To get the the seal. Uh, let's seal the deal. I think we got 20 rupees in the very end of the last episode at Goron City anyways, so it really isn't that big of a deal. But yeah, our main goal will be to, oh gosh, can I change my shield? I forgot to, uh, hold on, perfect. Okay, <laughs> so uh, yeah, but uh, my main goal will be to try to take care of this final divine beast, or at least to get there and see how things go, but probably, seeing how it usually only takes us an hour or so, I think we'll be able to handle that. All right, Sandseal, we got there. Thank you so much, buddy. I don't know if that was exactly worth 20 rupees, but hey, that's what we had to do. So she's on the very tippity top of this, so let's just go ahead and talk to her. And hopefully everything will go well. <laughs> All right. But yeah, I'm excited. This is our last divine beast of the game. After this, we're supposed to go fight Ganon. Don't know if we're quite ready for that. <laughs> Aye. What a sight, the divine beast Von Boris is pretty intimidating. If we wanna get close enough to that thing, we'll need to use sand seals. Are you ready? Of course. Feeling confident? Good, let's get going then. First, we'll use the sand seals to get in really close to that thing. I'll take the lead. I'm counting on you to shoot at its feet with bomb arrows. Naboris draws energy from the ground to keep moving. If you damage the feet, I think you can stop it. Those lightning strikes though, getting hit even once could prove fatal. The Thunder Helm can repel the lightning strikes, protecting me from harm, but it can also shield a limited area around me. Oh, you'll have to stay close if you don't want to be shocked. Mm. And listen, if you're too injured to keep fighting, promise me you'll retreat here to the lockout post. Don't do anything reckless under any circumstances. This isn't the last time I'll ask. Are you ready? Or this is the last time I'll ask. Uh, of course, let's go. Maybe I should have saved first. <laughs> oh well. Could he give me a bit of room just for a moment? Uh, okay. Uh, oh, I guess she's uh, talking to her sand seal. My name is Riju, descendant of the royal line and the leader of the Gerudo people. With the power of the heirloom passed down in my family, I shall cl calm the divine beast Vanaboris. Ancestors of the Gerudo, answer my call. Aid me in this task. Oh wow, whoa, look at her go. So it looks like everything in this radia, radius, uh, I guess is protected from lightning. I should probably put on my rubber pants too. You ready? Oh wow, I can feel their power coursing through me. Oh, <laughs> has to adjust that. Let's move. Okie doke. Do we have our own sand seal? We seem ready to go. Hmm. Lady Urbosa, please grant Lincoln me your protection. Well, hopefully she's out there listening. She's probably on the uh, Divine Beast. Okay, are we ready to go start your engines? Okay, whoa, whoa, don't fall behind. Okay, I will try my best. Whoa, hold on, no wait, no wait, wait, wait. wait. How do, hold on, hold on, I forgot. I'm gonna go and get it. Uh, uh, slow down, slow down, there you go. Oh gosh, you sort of ride in, at a weird pace, I gotta be honest. Like if I try to dash, you go away. All right, so it seems like you just sort of speed it. What is, what is your problem? Like you're going fast and then you go slow, and it's like, come on now, let's keep this a little consistent. Oh geez, oh geez, come on, that's good, that's good. Okay, there's a shrine nearby, that's nice to know. Uh, maybe we can deal with that after the sandstorm and the divine beast and everything, this is going quick. <laughs> I gotta, I gotta keep up. All right, all right, I'm glad that there is quite a large range because of this exact reason. Um, okay, okay, stop doing that little thing where you make him speed up like that. Let's just go at a casual pace, please. Where is the Divine Beast, by the way? Um, because right now I do not see. I thought I saw it at the distance for a moment. Oh gosh, oh gosh, slow down, slow down. Okay, that was good. Oh, I see it now. 
So we are supposed to be shooting that thing with bomb arrows. <laughs> Good luck with that. Uh, whoa, okay, it's charging up its laser. Oh no, this is scary. Um, hey, uh, Divine Beast Vondaboris. I'm gonna try shooting those things now. Oh no, I am nowhere near close, I just wasted one. Oh gosh, uh, okay, so now we are close maybe enough. Oh gosh, um, hey, can I get over there real quick? Okay, uh, this is a problem, I have no idea. Ow, my face! <laughs> that was a little too close. Oh, will she just stay here with me? Oh, well that's actually quite convenient. Um, do you wanna retreat for now? Keep the fight. And for the feet, you can do this. What do you mean? Why, why would I wanna retreat? Um, hold on, hold on, why did you go that way? Why did you go that way? What is your problem? Um, okay, let's try this again. I've already lost Mipha's grace, but hey. I need her to be graceful because I'm not so much. Come on, come on, come on. I'm trying my best to stay close to you. It's not working out very well. I feel like the radius got bigger. Maybe it's just the angle on my camera. Whoa, I'm scared. Protect me. All right, we're almost catching up to him. Oh no. Come on, dash. I had to get back in that circle. This is not easy, by the way. I don't know if you've noticed, but uh, this is not what I would call a walk in the park. Oh gosh, oh gosh, come on, just a little bit closer. What are you doing getting some air time? <laughs> no! What the heck, you moved the worst time, Riju. Come on, I gotta eat. I, I gotta stuff my face full of food. Oh my gosh, Th this is too intense for me. How much will this fill me up? Will this fill me up all the way? It will. I'm gonna do this one then, because I don't want to get like, like if that can heal me more hearts later on. Please catch up, please catch up, thank you. It's good that she makes some kind of effort. I mean, I can't expect her to be the, uh, you know what I should do? Why haven't I put on my electric pants? I mean, they're electric. <laughs> At least, uh, they give me shock resistance, which would be really nice right now. And maybe I should, also, it's very cold here. Um, I might be taking damage from the cold, so I might wanna warm myself up soon if I have that ability. I don't think I do. I don't also, I also don't have anything that's like really shock resistant at the moment. Hmm, okay. Well, that's the best I can do at the moment. Over here. I know, I'm right here. Just please keep going. Oh gosh, oh gosh. Like I don't know if she thinks, you know, she's trying to catch up with me or something. You know, let me get the warm do blood on. That might help. There you go, perfect. So I'm just taking a lot of unnecessary damage from that kind of stuff. Oh, this is tough because I just need to get a little bit closer because I keep missing. That's not close enough. All right. I know I'm trying to stay close to you. Did that do anything? I feel like I've done next to nothing to the actual Divine Beast because I know I'm supposed to hit his feet. I mean, that was like a pretty obvious thing. Ah, uh, but they, like, the thing is, is one step moves the entire camel so much. There we go. Whoa, 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 be careful, be careful. Uh. There we go. Come on, come on. Oh gosh, too far, too far, too far. Uh, whoa, come on lady, come on lady. You got this. Oh, okay, oh, whoa, wrong way, wrong way. <laughs> oh gosh, no way. Uh, no, stop moving at the perfect time. It's like you know. <laughs> oh gosh, no, 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 come on, come back, come back, come back. I'm trying, you gotta catch up to me. Thank you, oh that was perfect. Come on, just a little bit closer. We gotta get like really catch up because he's about to move. Ah, oh, that happens every single time. Like it's infuriating. Okay, so the lightning isn't charging up at the moment. Ow! <laughs> I got it. Don't step on. No, wait. Wait, where am I? <laughs> what is? What is happening? I think I got squished. <laughs> All right. Well, we did it. He's just, oh gosh, is he gonna fall? Cause I am right under him. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Hold on, run, Link! <laughs> and that ends the story of Link, squished by a giant Kim. Oh no, he's fine. Unfortunately, I cannot appease Naboris on my own. That's what I'm here for. I have for. no choice but to entrust the rest to you. You got it. <laughs> All right, well, our gear isn't very matching, but that's fine. Whoa, wait a minute, what are you doing now? Oh, we're going in. 
Okay, that's good. So it's gonna be walking around while we're on it. I guess it's like all the other ones, isn't it? Don't let us down, Link. I'm sure he'll try his best. Okay, well, we're making our way into the Divine Beast. That was a ridiculous line of events. Just like, I was trying so hard to stay in that radius and attack those feet. It just... It was not easy. But hey, we did it. And that's what matters. So, uh, heading on in now. Hmm. Oh, wow. Okay, so we're on its, like, underbelly at the moment. And now we can leave and teleport back whenever we'd like. Travel gate registered to map. Awesome. And we. Well, well, well. Hi. You sure do know how to keep a woman waiting. Sorry. I can't wait to see you take Noboris back from Ganon. One thing at a time. You'll need a map to find your way around. So, of course, it's sort of the same song and dance as some of the other divine beasts. Head over to that guidance stone. Sounds easy, right? Oh, I know too well to know that it's not gonna be easy. Oh, geez, and I'm about to die. Okay, well, at least I made it here, which is good. Uh, when it comes to healing, I do have like this kind of stuff. I'm probably gonna wanna go and cook before I face whatever Ganon we're gonna be facing. I'm gonna guess it's gonna be like lightning, because I don't think we've done that. But yeah, I'm just gonna take a look around really quickly. We take a look at our map. No, I wanted to look at the Oh yeah, that's right, we can't do that just yet. All right, well, I can fight you. I am definitely gonna change my arrows to normal arrows and bop. Okay, hey, hold on. Nice, actually, that was quite easy. Can I pick that up? No, my inventory's full. That's fine. I'll take this ancient stuff. We'll keep moving, whoa, it's sort of disorienting seeing this thing move around. What's going on up here? I see you. Actually, if I could, you're right here, so I should be able to just bop. Don't even, wait, did that hurt me, seriously? Oh, that's baloney. Okay. So it seems like, yeah, we've done some shrines in the past that has sort of this lightning thing. So we need to find something that this can use. All right. Luckily, walking across this does not electrocute me. Should have been careful about that. Whoa, what is with that? That seems like it's, it's there to tease me. Uh, I have to imagine what I gotta do no. Oh, oh, I see. I think I see. If I do that, and then I do that, and then I can, uh, uh, let's hope this works. Wait, no! <laughs> I tried! <laughs> no, I didn't time it well enough. Oh well, maybe that was a better way to do that one. Okay, well, let's get up like this. I mean, I missed it on that chest. So I don't think it, get, it comes back. It fell. I mean, I could probably use your volley scale to get around a little bit easier. I don't know if you can use that in here, but I'd imagine you could. Let's just clear up the map before we do anything more. Sheikah Slate authenticated. Unable to activate main, oh, this is the main control unit. I thought this was the, uh, the map. Well, I was wrong. That's where the main fight will happen. Okay, who am I fighting? Oh, you, hey, uh, back up. Whoa, don't you dare, no! This is not going well. I knocked the chest off, he knocks me off. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, I don't have that sword anymore, I guess. Um, I know you're trying to swing that, and I'm trying to stop you from swinging it. All right, well, I got you. <laughs> Just a weird turn of events so far in today's episode. So I think I could blow this up. No, that's the wrong way. Uh, okay, so yeah, that uh, broke that open. I could do that in a number of different spots. Doesn't look like there's anything really over here. Okay, well, I got this. This is a weird one so far, because I just don't know really where where I'm going. Ah, that did it. Okay, there's a chest waiting for me here. So this is where I could, Revali's Gale does work. I feel like this makes everything Oh yeah, like some people were asking me uh, what my favorite champion thing is. I think it's Revali's Gale because it makes everything else 
so much easier, it's wonderful. Wait, what are you doing over here? Were you here before? Well, you're not gonna be here anymore in a moment. Uh, okay, I probably shouldn't be wasting so many arrows, especially when I can just kick your butt with this. Whoop! Nice, that actually worked. Oh, wait, grab that before it disappears. Also, what happened to the thing you just had? That disappeared. Okay. Can I climb up this? No, I can't. Oh. Uh, I see a number of things. First thing I see is that. Will that drop this chest? It sort of will? Not as much drop it as release it. So it's just on its side. Usually that doesn't happen, but here it does. Okay, so I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> this is weird. I mean, I could try to get over this way, if it'll let me. It will, okay. This looked like one of them, but it was upside down, so I don't think, no wait, no wait, maybe this is the one I'm looking for. I thought it was upside down. I was wrong. So, <laughs> easy as that, we get our first one, and that should tell us uh, everything else about this divine beast and what we can do within it. I hope. This one's a weird one so far. I feel like this one might be the most difficult yet. The one in Rito Village was, in my opinion, one of the easiest. I feel like so far, the one that was trickiest to solve? Probably the first one we did, the elephant. Well, this one's interesting now. This one might take the cake. Seems like it has like an inner chamber that can be rotated. Divine Beast controls have been enabled. Or maybe this raises and lowers sort of like technically the camel humps. Weird. Uh, good. good work getting the map of the Divine Beast. I forgot that she says it herself. The terminals that control Naboris are noted by a series of glowing points on your map. Take Naboris back by activating all of the terminals. You're ready for this. Why, thank you. I'm glad she has confidence in us. You know, quite a turn from, uh, what's his name, Rivali, who just totally would rip into us any chance he got. He was ruthless. So I never went this way? No, I didn't go this way, okay. So now let's maybe take a look at this. What can I do? Activating that will start rotating parts of his body. So I was correct with the first one. But it seems like the openings don't change. Oh, this one is crazy confusing if you ask me. Huh. And I still don't know what the lightning is going to really change. And it can be changed multiple times as well. Uh, maybe I should have gotten up here. Well, I didn't. Oh, no, should get up here too. Nope, <laughs> okay. Cause like I still can't quite, oh, darn it. Okay, so, hmm. Let's rotate this again. It's very hard to visualize all of this, in my opinion at the least. Cause I imagine if we rotate this one more time, this will be our best way to get into this little area, which I just haven't been into yet, which is why I'm so curious about it. Uh, and there's a chest waiting for us on the other side. So, open this up, what do we got? Ancient spring, nothing too exciting, but eventually useful, maybe? And that was that. <laughs> okay. The other direction, I think we've, yeah, we've already been that way. So I should probably stay in this other center area because I want to see, oh gosh, come on, I was supposed to stand on all of this and I'm not doing a very good job. He makes a little noise every time you do that. Okay. Cause now, where am I trying to go? I guess, whoa. A couple different ways, really. Whoa, oh hey, <laughs> how are you? I uh, didn't expect to see anybody up here. Uh, whoa, Link just kept running there. I don't know what he was up to. Wait, what, why is this upside down now? I thought that was gonna be right side up. Well, it ain't quite. Uh, maybe I could rotate this. No, no, it's going that way. Okay, good to keep in mind. Uh, Are you still chasing? Get out of here. <laughs> you silly. So now it's sort of back where it was originally. All right, no, it's still spinning. No, okay, spin one more time. Perfect, now that chest is going to be right side up. The problem with that is I'm not quite on the right side. And I could use Rivali's Gale, and I'm going to. To get on the other side. 
Oh gosh, this is really weird so far. I'm like, I'm finding chests. A nice bow, which is pretty good. My inventory's full, but I would definitely make some room for a nice bow because of 31 damage. Uh, currently, I have a couple of 26s, so I'm just gonna go ahead and drop that one. Right, or did I misread that? Uh, no, this one's 31 with attack up five. Cool, gladly we'll take it. Whoa, 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 whoa. So the thing is, if I take a look at the map, we are right there. There is, apparently, I guess one up there. How do I get up there? What does hitting that do? Nothing. Well, great. Hmm. What else do we have? There's one in the head, which is straight the way I'm facing. What do I have to do to open that? Maybe I just gotta get over to it and uh, no. Okay. Cause like, I don't think I can rotate that kind of stuff. Like maybe I can? Like that has no effect on this. So there's something I gotta do to open this that isn't obviously like any of that. Okay. Uh, oh, I guess I still had that out. <laughs> hmm. It's also saying there's one down by my side? Yeah, that one's weird. Almost as if, I guess it would be under me right now. Oh, right there, okay. So, if I were to, because that is gonna rotate this way. So I need to, no, 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 no. This is what I wanted. So this might be a bit tricky, but if I do this correctly, uh, and I sort of almost maybe did it correctly, it's right there. So it's gonna stop right now. Okay, a little bit more uphill than I was expecting. <laughs> Okay, so first one activated. That was a little weird, but I pieced it together. Man, that is tricky. I'm counting on you. I'm counting on you too. So, what else do we got going on? There's also the green line, as you can tell. That is supposed to go to that. So, if we were to do that, they would line up, and maybe that would open something for me. Let's find out. Oh, oh, here we go. I don't know what I could exactly do with this. Maybe it just spins and spins, because I don't know what benefit this would have in the front, or on the bottom here, because there's still a gate in the way. Maybe when it matches up, the gate goes away, but we're gonna find out. Takes a moment. And there's still that chest, right? I guess we didn't get that chest. Yeah, we got that one on the other side. That's what got me confused before. Wait a minute. Oh, no. Oh, wait. What? Wh where is the gate? Daruk's protection is now ready to roll. That's great, Daruk. But where is the one with the gate? Oh, maybe that's more towards the center? Maybe that's right there? Oh, hard to tell. <laughs> Very hard to tell. Um. So all I'm trying to do is go, I guess, into its tail. Oh, okay, well I can do this. <laughs> this is so bizarre. So I could climb back up that way. Hmm. What does this do? This rotates some things, as you can see. Uh, but rotating it this way moves it a different. Okay, so I need to move that one so it's like that and then rotate it this way so this one matches up. I don't know what this will do, but we'll find out together. Not quite yet, I did see one. There it is, oh, a little bit more. I'm gonna keep inching it. Oh geez, did that move you? Okay, thank goodness it didn't. <laughs> Whoa, wait, what is that? Oh, it's a platform. Weird, so I could stand on top of this, if I can get up there quick enough. And won't move back up by itself? Okay, well, I didn't have to undo anything to move the platform. Also, our, our gear is like all mismatched right now. I'll worry about it before we go into combat. I mean, the temperature doesn't seem to matter too much up here. It seems to be the perfect in the middle of too hot and too cold. So we should be fine in that front. Sheikah Slate authenticated. There are three terminals remaining. Hang in there. Oh, I'll, I'll be trying. So there's that one. Then there's another one in this room. 
I don't know how to get into that room. I mean, now that I'm way up here, I can sort of survey the area. Clearly this is more of an exit than it is an entrance. Uh, I gotta be careful about how I do this. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to get too much more of a benefit from being up here then. Uh, let's turn around. <laughs> hmm. How would I get up there? I mean, maybe from the butt. Cause I feel like there's more parts of the butt I've yet to explore, like that up there. So, if I were to have not fallen down here, maybe I could have uh, had a benefit. But I should be able to make something work. I do have one more Rivali's Gale left. I also don't know, hmm. As long as I don't mess with the one near the butt. I'm gonna leave that one where it is. Okay. That's sort of good, because I can run and then glide. Oh, that's working. Because as you can see on top of that little box, that's really where I'm looking to get. Oh, no, I can just run across this way. What is this? Um, These seem to be maybe even, oh, blocking the current. Not exactly, sort of the opposite. I need this, no, no, no. Come on, Link. Okay, so now, that ha now that's electrocuted. What is the point? Where is this trying to get to? I guess to the tail? Surely something. So, are these connected in any way? Oh, I see. I see that little part now. What are you doing moving? You move back there, sir. Uh, does it naturally move back? I guess not. It was just uh, me not being very good. Okay, so that should solve everything. And here comes the, the butt tail, I think. I have no idea where that is. Oh, up there. That doesn't really clear out much to me about how, oh, right here, <laughs> how I get up. I guess like that. Okay, so now we're up this way. And that only sort of answered part of my question. Maybe there's another thing I can climb. Sure as heck doesn't look like it. So I'm way up here. Can I zoom in? I guess not. I can't go in this way. So what's the point? I guess I'm not supposed to do it this way. Ow! <laughs> Why does that happen to me so often? What did that change on the inside? Honestly, I have no clue. Because you can see now there's a way to sort of get into those top chambers. But only sort of, because I don't know how to get up onto the platform that gets into the top chambers starting from the back. Hmm. That's really tricky now, isn't it? What if I were to go back up that way? I don't know if I can. Uh, not without really messing with some stuff. Let's do something like that, maybe? I'm just gonna hold on tight. Uh, this might not be the best idea. I might wanna actually stay on like this. No, uh, hard to tell. Cause I still can't go in there. Or have I already gone in there? This is wicked confusing. Okay, so now that's gonna start spinning. His head raises, which is, I don't know if that's for the better or for the worse. Just get back on here and I don't know if this is the correct way to be doing this, but it's the way I'm doing it. Oh geez, oh geez, no, 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 not what I wanted. Also not what I want, oh come on. Now isn't that a bunch of baloney? Uh, okay, well now I gotta fix this. Oh gosh, it's so confusing. Okay, okay, almost, and got it. So, let's fix this one, it has to go all the way around. Man, I can't wait to explore this desert once we finish all of this, or at least maybe. I don't know, it might not be worth exploring. Usually deserts don't have too many things of interest, but this desert could be a different kind of desert. Okay, let's be careful, let's not get squished by any kind of gigantic moving gear or hinge or anything. Hmm. Yeah, it's still very weird to me. I don't see how I'm supposed to enter some of this stuff. I mean, it does look like, you know, there's some other place I could still poke around. It looks like there's still another uh, one that I can activate within the center chamber. 
but I figured I'd worry about that one once I get to it. Because for now I could, like I just need to find a way. And maybe it's this, maybe this is like the most foolish thing I could do out here. But the, the way I see, the Zebra Gamer way, would be to do this. Go all the way around and enter like this. Maybe if I were to do this way, I'd actually see how I'm supposed to do this. Maybe it was as simple as I was supposed to undo things, stand in this position, and it would have lifted me. Oh well, I did it my way, and it worked. Uh, you know, I really don't wanna have to use arrows on you if I don't have to. I do wanna eat some food, though, because I am very low on the precious health that I need. Um, just gonna eat that. I'd rather not eat anything that's going to be necessary later for the battle. I might have to go and make more food for that. Okay, I see you. I don't know what happened to my sword, but uh, I do have a master sword, so I'll use that. So what is with down there? I do see a chest, I do see this thing I can smack, which doesn't do much. Hmm. If I had something electrocutable like that, no? Okay, never mind. Oh, oh, I made it! Oh, I can use this chest, actually. This is a very electrocutable thing. Ancient screw, very cool. Let me grab it, move it, and plop it. Oh, and there's also the, that ball that I'm probably supposed to use. What is that noise? Oh, it's whatever this stuff is. Okay, so I might have to hit that. I guess I didn't have to, but I did. Could've just tossed my sword at it. It is the master sword after all. Hmm. So now this is broken up, I could have gone in this way, but obviously couldn't originally. Can I get up on, no I can't. <laughs> and then what's in there? An enemy at the least. Cause I'm up this way, and I need to go into that chamber, which I'll get there eventually, I just need to keep moving. So maybe I could have shortcutted this a little bit by just landing sooner in like the bridge between these two chambers, but at the same time, I wanna go through it all, I just didn't know how to get here, so I just did it my way which is often the, the worst kind of way to do things. Okay, okay, got it. Oh, jeez, come back. I need you. Uh, this is not working. Here, hold on, got it. And then go back up there. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> come on, I just went it up that way. And perfect. Just so I don't like to keep myself on the way up. Okay, so now that it's up here, I can just get off this platform and pick this up. And I suppose, since it is just an electrical ball, I can do that. Ooh, what's up here? I didn't see this before. Um, I did see some purple gook behind me. Yeah, what is this about? What does this move? It moves that platform? Uh, the shadows are moving. It moves, oh, whoa, whoa, boy. That's not what I wanted. I didn't mean to fall like that, but it moved the thing below us? Oh man, that's weird. Hard to tell. Come on, bring me back up. What benefit is that if I already had what I wanted? Maybe there isn't. I mean, this is still here. I suppose maybe there was a different answer? Because like, if I move this one more to there, wouldn't it electrocute it for me? I guess so. So, maybe that's what I was supposed to do the entire time. I don't know what the electric ball is for then. All right, we got up here. Let's try that again. I was pushing this. Uh, There we go. And there you go, it does it for me. So no, 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 no. Okay. I don't know if I could just get across like that. Oh, I almost did. <laughs> oh well. So I might need this electric ball for something else. I don't think I want to fall down right here. Hmm. I'm gonna take it with me if the game will let me, which it usually does. Uh, sort of lets you do whatever you want most of the time. Don't roll off. Hey, I, I said don't roll off. Uh, can I use this to electrocute people? That'd be the funniest thing. Hey, here you go. <laughs> oh, um, well have fun with that. I don't know if it's actually doing anything to you. Suppose not, seeing how you're just fine. Oh. Come on, nice, the Master Sword deals with you quick. Okay, so this is going down now. Why is that? Also, don't I have one of those? Yes, I do. Does 30 damage, which is pretty nice. 
Not something super crazy, but it, it's good. Okay, so this is activated. Do we need to unactivate this one? I really don't know. What is that about? I've never seen something like that before. It looks like it needs to be electrocuted. Which I can once again do with the ball. Or maybe if I could find another one of those levers, or just get rid of you. What is that gonna do for me? Man, there's like so many little things with this area, it's ridiculous. Cause I'm in the second chamber now, right? Yes, so I need to find a way to get, oh, and I see you. Ready, pop. Did I, I missed him with that? No, maybe, oh no, I got it. Where does that lead? <laughs> okay, hold on, let me just activate this. It's right here, almost done with everything. Man. There are two terminals remaining. I figured. Okay, so. The other two seem to be in the center chamber, but I could be totally wrong about that. I guess all of this extra stuff maybe just gets me a chest or something. Let's just try going back this way. Uh, if I can. Oh my gosh, okay, so this thing's still spinning. Which is a good thing for now. But you see this one isn't quite in the chamber, it's right outside of it. Ooh, that's tricky, where is that one? Is it? I might have to go back to the head for that one. I'm really not sure. But this other one, I just gotta wait for this to come around. And once it does, I, I do see what I gotta do with it. I just have to line up the, this, the chamber farthest from me, or the part of the chamber farthest from me, with that little room part. So that one's actually the one of the easiest ones. Again, it's glide to here. I think it's already set up that way. It looks like it to me. I glide over to here, and then once I'm in this room, I need to rotate the chamber. Will that be the correct way? Oh, cool, we already got three more Revali's Gale. That'll be maybe helpful, potentially. Let's get this, and uh, then we got one more remaining. And it's probably the most tricky one. You're almost there. Indeed we are, I'm so excited. So I need this to rotate around, I guess, uh, two more times. That seems about right. Uh, well, uh, maybe. Right now, right? Oh, I'm so confused. I suppose not. Maybe one more rotation. <laughs> this is so weird. Yeah, this was right, okay. And we got it. So, with this last one, like look at how where it is, it's so weird. I think it would be smart to go back to the head. Is this the head I'm going towards? Yes it is, so I need to catch this elevator before it goes, which I guess is sort of an elevator. Not quite an elevator, I'm gonna pretend it is. Okay, so I'm all the way up on the head. Am I going the right way? I am. I just don't really know where it is. It's apparently directly below me. And I can see it, actually. So how do I get down there? Just like this? Oh, hey, uh, oh, we got friends. Hello, friends, leave me alone. I have places to be, things to do, and they don't include you, I gotta be honest. Also, why is our sir doing 60 damage instead of the normal amount? Is it because we're in a divine beast? Maybe, that's pretty cool. It's all glowy. It's definitely not because we have full health like in all those Zelda games, right? <laughs> because we don't. So I need something electrocutable, or I can just like maybe cheat this. Okay, I had to try that, right? Oh wow, and that just opened it. Huh, I feel bad, like I feel like I'm cheating, but I mean at the same time. That was the last of the terminals, now. You'll need to start up the main control unit. Take a good look at your map. Head for the glowing mark you see there. You're doing well. Thank but you. But overconfidence can be a deadly foe. That's true. Okay, but yeah, that's sort of the thing that I really like about this game, is that there's no right or wrong way to do things. It's just whatever gets the job done. I know there was a uh, shrine we did where I sort of chose an answer that I guess wasn't the intended answer, but it 
answer the, the shrine. And people will say I sort of cheated that one, which is sort of true, but at the same time, I also, you know, did it my way. And that's sort of the fun thing about the game. Can I get this? I mean, I guess I have to rotate the center anyways. It's just not rotating the way I would have liked. Uh, so, <laughs> I don't know if I'm gonna get that chest. Because I'd rather just fight the boss. But yeah, how am I, where and how am I gonna fight him? Because usually you fight him wherever you activate this, and there really isn't much room to battle around here. We're gonna find out. But yeah, it <laughs> might not have been the most conventional way to solve that, but that's how I did it, and now we're here. That's great, that's what I love about this game. Oh no. This has to be Electric Ganon, right? I'd imagine. Uh, looks like it to me. But I'm not really sure, this is scary. Oh, he has a shield. Oh gosh. Whoa! Thunderblight Ganon, Scourge of the Divine Beast Vanaporus. Stay on your edge, Link. This formidable adversary was made by Ganon and brought me to a warrior's demise 100 years ago. Do not allow this to be your end. Fight for your life. And it's death. Well, this thing is fast. Watch yourself. Uh, I've noticed. Three down, one to go. Let's go for it. I don't have any bows equipped because, uh, also, when did I get this much health? I don't know, but I'll gladly take it. Wait, when did I get this much health? What the, that's weird. Uh, Steel eyes low, 36 damage, well, there goes some of it. Oh, oh, because I just got punched in the face. Oh, that may, ow, ow, can you just hold on for one second? I'm rolling down the hill. Um, no, 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 no. How? How do I do this? Um. So far, you know, they are Thunderblade, but they aren't doing anything thundery, so I'm just gonna leave it at that. I'm going to try to survive. Oh, that would be great. Full recovery, which I may need very soon, but maybe not just yet. Maybe I could have, uh, where is this? And then if I get hit again. Link. Come on, come on, Link. Yeah, that's me. Ow, what the heck do you do? <laughs> He's too fast. I gotta just like, I wanna shoot one shot. That's all I wanna do. Okay. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um, I just wanna be able to get my bomb arrows out and then, ugh, gosh darn it, you're a jerk. You are a total jerk. I'm gonna go ahead and have that full recovery potion now, I believe. Uh, where'd he go, where'd he go, where'd he go? I don't know, what am I supposed to do? Uh, okay, uh, that didn't really do as much as I was hoping. This is shield, is uh, working very well. We dropped the Steel Lysel bow because of course, this is working out well. <laughs> what do I do? Hold on a second. Careful now. I am trying. Well, how do I break that shield of yours? Maybe I just need to make things go slow motion? I mean, that's sort of, kind of, wait. Oh, wait, ow. I almost made it work and then my bow broke. Come on. This is so bizarre. Um, maybe I wanna do the Forest Dwellers bow? Uh, see that? That hurts you a little bit. And that does nothing to you though. Huh, hitting you with those three bomb arrows did nothing. So what did I do wrong? I don't know. I feel like I have not been properly prepared for this fight. Like I know that like maybe it has something to do with this shield of yours, but I knock you down, okay that hurt. Oh that hurt ya, but now I'm uh, out of a, uh, the Rook's protection, so that's not gonna work anymore. I'm just gonna keep swinging. I'm just gonna keep swinging, keep getting it. Don't stop, don't stop. Okay, well I have to stop. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, hold on, hold on. Okay, so I broke your shield. Maybe it's down for good. That took me some learning. <laughs> this has been a weird episode. Things is just not been going the way I thought they would. Where are you going? Oh, now I wanna get, wanna get those electric pants, huh? I, I will watch that lightning. Trust me on that one. So, I need to, electric pants, they'll at least help a little bit. Where are you right now, by the way? You have your shield back. Oh, this is all kinds of bad. Um, hey, okay, so those rods are probably going to, you know, conduct the lightning. I am out of stamina. I don't have protection anymore. 
I feel like I'm gonna inevitably have to redo this boss fight. But maybe in the meantime, like that doesn't do anything because the shield is still doing its thing. It, oh, I think, yeah, it's still not breaking him, which is weird. Um, Where are you going? Where are you going? You're going over that way? No. Uh, well, no you are. Okay, come on, I'm gonna get you. Don't you run, you coward! Oh, you're such a coward. Get back here. So I don't know how to do this part. It's like I'm hitting you with this stuff and it's not breaking your shield at all? Ow, ow, that hurt. Come on, come on. What do I do? This is so weird. I mean, maybe this is a time to throw my bombs, but I don't feel like that's the case. Ugh. That didn't really do much, did it? Uh, Cause like I think I'm hitting you, but then it just, ow, I hit myself. <laughs> I'm using all of my bomb arrows right now. Huh, might as well eat this. And after that, I'm about out of food. Oh, you know what? Maybe I could hit you with your own shot. I just don't know where you are, so that's not easy. Um, you know, they say, you know, you can beat fire with fire. Maybe you can do the same thing with lightning. Uh, this is not working. <laughs> Maybe it falls up on one of the platforms. That's the only thing I could possibly see to do here. Like what else? What else is there? I can't reach him. Attacking him does no damage. I was I thought that maybe like, you know. I'm not trying to like just do the same thing over and over again, hoping it'll work this time. Oh, that got him! It's just a matter of uh Oh, I missed. <laughs> Hold on. Come on, I'm gonna break that shield of yours. Oh, oh! See ya, buddy! Come on, I'm not done with you! I'm not I'm done with you! Get back here! Uh, uh. Come on, just keep hitting it until it breaks, and then I'm just gonna charge up and then start spitting. Okay, that didn't really do as much as I thought it would do. I can't even see what's happening right now. I'm about to be attacked! Not this time! I don't know what was happening there. I just kept swinging. <laughs> well, we beat him. I just had to waste like 20 bomb arrows. So I was trying to break his shield with them, and I guess that doesn't work. But eventually, I solved the puzzle, and now he leaks. Well, that's all four of them defeated. Ain't that great? Now we're just gonna take on the real deal, which may be significantly more difficult. Wow. So this is the final, final divine beast. It's beautiful. And we get a heart piece, I forgot about that part. <laughs> I'm so glad we got the Master Sword before uh, taking this guy on because it was very, very helpful. Okay, take the heart container. Your life force has been strengthened, increasing your maximum numbers of hearts by one. Cool, that means we have 14. That's a lot of hearts. So now what, I just have to let you free? I believe so. Once you examine the uh, activate thing control unit, that's fine. Yeah, it's it's fine. I just want to get out of here. Okay, so Lady Orbosa, you have been freed. I hope. Anybody home? Oh hey, here you go. I knew you wouldn't let us down, Link. Thanks to your valor and skill, my soul is free, and Noboros is ours once again. Which means that finally, we can complete what we started years ago. We Gerudo have no tolerance for unfinished business. Urbosa, Gerudo champion. I've waited so long for the moment to see you finally rush Hyrule Castle. As well as for the moment when I incinerate Ganon into a pile of ash. Which reminds me, I wanted to give you a little something. Ooh. Please accept this gift, which has come to be known as Urbosa's Fury. Whoa. It will no doubt be of use to you. Um... <sighs> oh ho! We feel furious! <laughs> Whoa, it's lightning! Both you and the princess, I know you have suffered much regarding what happened to us champions. 
But this is how things had to happen. No one need carry blame. So please, make it clear so she understands that. Tell her to shed any worries. And let her know. I couldn't be more proud of her. You take good care of the princess. Oh, and also, take good care of Hyrule. I'll try my best. Okay, so, we did it. The fourth one done, which means that, I guess this means there'll be no more protection on Hyrule Castle as far as I understand. Let's hope so. That was the whole point. But then we could just storm on in. I mean, there's still the gigantic robot monsters that protect it, which won't be fun to deal with, and I still feel like I'm nowhere near prepared to deal with. But I suppose I am. Oh, here we go. This thing is the last, last one to the party to start blasting the uh, castle. It's moving. Very slowly, but it's moving. You'd think with how large it is, it could probably drop pretty quickly. But it doesn't need to. <laughs> it definitely doesn't need to. Jeez, it's been a while. I mean, what is this, like the 38th episode? It took us all that time to do all of this. I mean, I'm sure that if I was better at the game, it could have happened a little bit more quickly, but that's behind us now. Oh, there, there it is next to the tower. Huh? I like how they cut it, cut out it climbing up all of that. All right. The final one. So I don't know if we're gonna be hopping to the castle right away. I doubt it. I think that we might save the castle for later, depending on what's going on in there. I feel like we just need to be stronger. We need to be more prepared. But for now, it's nice to see the fruit of our labor. Boom. Noboru. Legend of the Gerudo, celebrated over ages. And you, who were named to honor her. You are a legend as well. Isn't that right, Naboris? The bitter essence of defeat from a century ago still sits upon my tongue. But that is now in the past. It was written that Calamity Ganon once adopted the form of a Gerudo. And that will make this victory all the more satisfying. I like that. Now I can take this personally. Once we've established a lock on that thing, it will be up to Link to keep Ganon occupied until the moment we unleash our strike. That moment is going to be so delicious. <laughs> She's, she's as, as excited about it as I am. But yeah, I guess uh, Ganon has been a Gerudo, I think, in Ocarina of Time. Apparently Ganon can take different forms. That's why he's like a pig guy in other games. Maybe even in this one. I don't know what Ganon's supposed to be. Right now he's just sort of like a giant smoke monster from what I understand. Hey, we're back, guys! Uh, don't watch, I gotta get changed back into the other outfits so I can go into there. Urbosa's Fury, a destructive power born from the unbridled anger of the champion Urbosa, summons powerful lightning to the surrounding area, trigger with a charge attack by holding Y. Wow. Uh, what's up now? Link. Hey. Link, thanks to you, all of the divine beasts have returned to us and the spirits of the champions are free. We will all be awaiting your clash with Ganon at Hyrule Castle. Wow. <laughs> okay, so that does mean that we can go and do that. I suppose. I feel like there's a lot to do besides just mosey on in and beat up Ganon. I think it's gonna be a bit more complicated. And I feel like to do that, we might need to just do some side questing, earn up some food, maybe just perfect what armor we can find or whatever. Maybe? I really don't know. 
But let's take a look at our main quest, Divine Beast Vanaboris. You defeated the Thunderblade Ganon lurking deep within Divine Beast Vanaboris. Urbosa's, Urbosa's Divine Beast Vanaboris has taken up a position on, in the eastern region of the Gerudo Desert. Make your way back to Gerudo Town and report to the chief of the Gerudo, Riju. Okay, so we do have to change our outfit. All right, so we're not quite done with all of this before we move on to other things. Uh, equip, equip, equip. Awesome. Hey, everybody! <laughs> Nobody seems to notice, that's great. But yeah, I'm excited. I'm like really excited. We're making such great progress recently. Uh, what was that noise? I don't know. It sounded like it's like something whizzed by me. Weird. Okay, there she is. Hi. Oh, oh you're back. Yep. I'm glad you're okay. Truly, I am. Naboris is no longer a threat to the town. I'm still worried about the larger threat to Hyrule, but at least my people won't be troubled by Naboris anymore. Oh, hey! I want to offer you these as a thanks for your help. I trust you'll accept them. These pieces of equipment are priceless treasures of the Gerudo people. They were once worn by Lady Urbosa. <laughs> Since you and Lady Urbosa were friends, it's only right that you have them. Okay, two items instead of one. Usually they only give us the weapon. Oh, hey. It'd be so funny if I could just take this. It's like, I'm taking this, bye. <laughs> All right, so let's examine it. Uh, oh. Halt, that is the treasure of the Gerudo, the Thunder Helm. You may be held in high esteem, but this does not give you the freedom to lay your hands on the pride of our people. Yeah. Be calm yourself, Bolila. You desired this helm? I want it. I see, and yet, despite the great debt we owe you, I cannot just give such a precious thing to you. Mm. But you are up against the enemy of Lady Orbosa, and if you truly desire it, then perhaps I can lend it to you? Never mind. This Thunder Helm is our cultural treasure. If you want to lay hands on it, you must show us you are serious and come back. I mean, maybe once we go and fight Ganon? The Daybreaker, wow, 48. This shield is was a cherished by the Grudo, champion Urbosa. The gold used to make it was handpicked to ensure a design that is both lightweight and very durable. My inventory's full. What about this? This is, uh, the Scimitar of the Seven, a famous sword once beloved by the Gerudo champion, Arbosa. It is said that when Arbosa swung the sword in battle, her movements resembled a beautiful dance. Wow, cool. Oh, did I just take that? Very awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop a shield. I have a lot of these, so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and drop one. I know I have a weaker shield, but I like the look of it. I think it looks cool. All right, the shield was cherished by the Gerudo, blah, blah, blah. Look at it, it looks so cool. So we should probably make a shield thing as well, but awesome. If we, we, we have the whole setup here, we're like a total Gerudo warrior now. With the whole Gerudo setup and the shield and everything, oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I did wanna see what else our, uh, I guess, yeah, this is in our completed section now. So we've destroyed Ganon, the ghost of King Rome told you that Hyrule is on the brink of annihilation. Princess Zelda is currently fighting to contain Calamity Ganon inside Hyrule Castle, but her power cannot keep him at bay forever. Eventually, Ganon will regain his full strength and destroy the world. Your ultimate task is to aid Princess Zelda in defeating Ganon before that can happen. There are four divine beasts. Uh, you've reclaimed the four divine beasts by defeating the four Ganon phantoms haunting them. You should let Impa know of your success. I would love to, actually. That sounds like fun. So we're just gonna catch up with that, and then we'll probably be wrapped up for today's episode. But I do wanna go back to my house. I wanna be able to put this stuff up, put the shield up. I thought that'd be all awesome. And then we'll be finished. Archery tip, draw your bow string while jumping from a high place to briefly slow down time so that you can call, you can aim with greater accuracy. I've been doing that. Look at the loading screen now. We have this whole setup of all these different divine beasts just walking around. Ain't that great. Obedient horses will follow pathways within without being told to. That's great. These large carnivores require sizable helpings of meat and fresh fish to sustain their bulky frames. Well, I am much different. So, we'll talk to uh, Impa, and then I'll probably wrap up today's episode, and we'll be getting more done in the next episode. I would love if you guys wanna see me tackle anything before we uh, take on Ganon, let me know. I don't think I'm gonna be doing it next episode. I think next episode I might focus on trying to make ourselves as powerful as possible, maybe. Uh, hey. How are you? Hmm. Ah. 
So the sword has been returned to the to its rightful owner. <laughs> Just as I expected of you, hero. The sword that seals the darkness is your counterpart. So long as the blade is at your side, you shall wield enormous power. The princess risked everything for you and that sword. Do not forget that, and do not waste this chance. By the way, how are you faring thus far? I sense it. Their presence. Taruk, Urbosa, Ravali, Mifa. A hundred years ago, I put my life on the line to fight alongside everyone. But I could not protect them. They died without fulfilling their destinies. I have lived all of this time thinking they died in vain. But this energy I feel from their presence, it seems they have not given up. I can also sense that they were all overjoyed to see you again. Yeah, of course, I was, I was happy to see them. Now you all serve the same purpose. Now it is time to attack Calamity Gammon while he is weak. Hurry to the princess, go now. So yeah, now our goal is just to go there. I believe you will find Calamity Ganon in Hyrule Castle. Even with the blessings of the divine beasts on your side, you must be careful. Calamity Ganon will be well protected. Be prepared for anything. I will. Free to divine beasts complete. Wow, we! That is an awesome thing to see complete. So the main quest is obviously captured memories and destroy Ganon. Maybe we could focus on some more captured memories in the next episode as well. I bet there's a lot of fun things we could do before we head on over to Ganon. I feel like that's gonna be like the big finale and everything. But uh, for now, that is going to wrap it up for today's episode of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. If you like this part of the video, make sure you comment or boast a zebra. So now you've watched the end of the You Are A Zebra Task Viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to join the zebra herd. Otherwise, Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.